Bokatov. In Hebrew, that means good morning. It's hard to believe that in less than two weeks, we'll be standing in the land of the Bible, walking in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior. Hi, I'm Pastor Eli, and I just wanted to give you a brief reminder of some items that you're going to need to pick up, if you've not already, before we leave for our, our trip to the Holy Land. First, I want to remind you to be able to get a passport holder. You can buy these things at Walmart. Um, they fold in half. They have a little zipper compartment which you can put your passport in. You can put credit cards. You can put um, your large um, currency inside of this, this, this area. It folds over. It clips. goes over your neck. folds into your shirt because your passport needs to stay with you at all times. Um, you will not leave your passport in the hotel. You will not leave it on the bus. It will stay with you. That's your ticket out of the country. As pertains to currency, I'll keep my big bills in this. I'll have some small bills in my right pocket, probably less than 40 or $50. Some ones, some fives, um, some, uh, maybe a few tens, maybe even a 20 I'll have in the small pocket. Oh, and some of you have asked about traveler's checks, and you don't need any of that. They accept American dollars everywhere throughout the land. Um, we will exchange a few dollars for a couple shekels, but other than that, American dollars work great. My other pocket, I'll have my larger bills, maybe a couple hundred dollars inside of this pocket. So if I'm making a, a, a small little um, purchase from a street vendor, maybe something cold to drink, I'm going to reach my right pocket. If I'm buying something maybe for a souvenir or for my wife that's um, 40 or 50 dollars, I'm going to reach in my left pocket. And so, and what this does is it keeps you off the radar. Now, let me just remind you, not everything in the Holy Land is holy. So what that means is that there's going to be some people there that would love to take advantage of a tourist. Um, as a matter of fact, when we stand on the Mount of Olives, we'll talk about the scriptures, we'll, we'll expound upon the scriptures, but on the Mount of Olives, there's some of the best pickpockets in the world right there. So, ladies, I highly encourage you, leave your nice jewelry at home. Don't, don't, don't dress real flashy so that um, you're going to draw attention to yourself, because if you do, you potentially could make yourself a target. So, get yourself a passport holder. Secondly, the electrical current in Israel is different than what it is here in the U.S. We have 110 volts here in the U.S. They have uh, 220 over in Israel. Their, their um, plugs are different going into the walls than what we have here in, in the U.S. So you're going to need to be able to get a power converter. You can buy these at Walmart. You can get them off of Amazon. Um, but they have a wide variety of them. So what happens with our power converter is that you will take your your uh, phone charger or whatever, it plugs um, right into the, the power converter and, um, and so it converts the electricity to a 110 system to be able to charge all of your electronic devices. Um, some of your devices, like this is from my Samsung um, phone, it's already set up to be able to handle both currents. So all I need is an adapter that goes right in. And they have these at the hotel that you're able to borrow, um, but most of the time to be safe, use your power converter. Um, another thing also is that they do not have a lot of receptacles inside of the room. So go to, to, to um, Walmart, go to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, and buy yourself one of these little multi-plugs. So you can plug into one, and it gives you three different plugs. So if you have um, a, a two cell phones you have to be able to charge and an iPad, you're good to go. There's going to be three opportunities for you to get wet. I know you're thinking, Pastor, it's going to be January. I don't want to get wet. Trust me. We'll have some of the highs will be in the low 70s, but there's going to be three opportunities. One, we'll do a baptism service there in the, um, in the, in the Galilee, right there in the Jordan River. And, and trust me, it is a spiritually impacting service. Um, but you will need water shoes in order to be able to accomplish that. You can buy water shoes at, at um, Walmart for four to six or seven dollars. They're, they're inexpensive. They slip right over their neoprene. Um, they're real inexpensive. Also, make sure you bring a bathing suit with you. Now, when we go through the baptismal service, they'll rent you robes and a towel. Mandatory. You got to have a robe on. They, they, um, they want everybody to be able to um, be modest when they're having um, a baptismal service. And so they'll have changing rooms to where you can change um, and then come back, dry off, get back into your warm clothes, and then from there, we'll head to the hotel for dinner anyway. Um, second place where you're going to be able to get wet is going to be the Hezekiah's Tunnel. Um, incredible. Incredible history. Here, David gave a challenge to his mighty men that if anybody could get into the, the city of Jerusalem, um, which was occupied by the Jebusites, um, he would give them major, major benefits. 
And so we know that they, they went through the Hezekiah Tunnel, scaled up, up through the water system, got into the city, opened up the gates, David overthrew the city of Jerusalem. In order to go into Hezekiah's tunnel, you need a flashlight. So make sure you bring a flashlight with you. They sell these LED flashlights. I know Costco has a four-pack for $10. They also have them at Walmart. They have them at Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere that flashlights are sold. So make sure you pick you up a flashlight. And then the third place where you're going to be able to get wet is you'll need water shoes and your bathing suit is down by the Dead Sea. It's amazing. The salinity level inside the Dead Sea is so high, two-thirds of your body will float on top of the water. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great... Um, um, little perk, it's a benefit, and you're definitely going to be able to do that. Another item to be able to um, pick up is a small little pack of tissues. Now you might be thinking, Pastor, I don't have any seasonal allergies. Why do I need tissues? Um, because they're not used for seasonal allergies. Some of the places that we go to uh, will have, um, they'll be Arab run. And um, public restrooms are a little bit different than what they are here in the state. Some of these public restrooms, they'll charge you to use them. Maybe a shekel which is equivalent to a U.S. quarter to be able to utilize. But when you get in there, you realize that they don't have the abundance of, of, of toilet paper like what they do here in the U.S. Bring yourself a little packet. It could, it could be a lifesaver. In the 15 years I've been going to Israel, I've never had to use this, um, but it better be safe than sorry. Um, last but not least, oh, hold on. little traveling pillow. Pick you up one. This is inflatable. I've, been, I've had this for 10, 15 years. It's a lifesaver on the plane. You know, you in order to be able to take a nap, uh, it supports your neck, it enables you to be able to sleep for longer periods of time. They also sell them now, this is inflatable, they also sell them with little tiny styrofoam beads inside of them, so they're real soft. Pick you up one of those. Um, and then last but not least, we're responsible for $120 per person gratuity. Um, so if you're a couple, it's $240, $120 for our singles. Um, and what this does is that this covers all of our tips the entire time that we're there. From the, the moment we, we pull up to the hotel, they'll have porters come out and unload the, the luggage from the bus. This takes care of the tips to the porters. When you go into the restaurant for breakfast and dinner, it will take care of the tips for the wait staff that will be waiting on you in those restaurants, as well as the tips for the bus driver and for our tour guide, $120. Uh, we'll collect this probably either in Tel Aviv or in JFK, and when we get to Tel Aviv, we'll give it to the, the tour bus company, and they'll handle it all from there. And so they, just, they distribute them all. I believe that our international terminal, terminal excuse me, in JFK is Terminal 4. It's very important. Our flight leaves at 5.30, um, the international flight um, going to Tel Aviv. Um, I know that I have some people that will be arriving at JFK at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. Let me encourage you. Do not dilly-dally. Get right to the international terminal. Go in, and they'll check you in. They'll, 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 um, you'll have to be able to clear customs. They'll put luggage, new luggage tags on your luggage. Um, and it's just important to be able to be there in a timely fashion. They recommend three hours ahead of time. And I know some of you are really pushing that, but you'll be fine. Don't worry. No worries. Um, it'll all be good for you. And so I want to encourage the rest of you. That's where we'll meet up. It's at the International Terminal. So I want to encourage you to begin now to prepare yourself. Um, in the Hebrew language, there's no word for coincidence. And what that means is that everything is divinely inspired. So you being on this trip... I believe it's inspiration from God. I believe that God's got something very unique in store for each and every one of you. So I'm asking you to prepare yourself now. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit to, to um, prepare you to receive all that God has. Um, if there's any areas that God wants to reveal to you, stay open to that. Allow God to be God inside of your life. Trust me, it will change you forever. And so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. You can reach me on my cell phone anytime. 850-321-7112. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you in two weeks. God bless you.